Guess who's back? Back again. What is up, my paint pouring freaks, geeks? No. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. Renee Kill, Renee Kill Art. Still trying to figure out my setup because I'm used to doing the makeup thing. This has been a quite fun transition. Yes, I'm still doing both. Okay. Tonight, we are going to do, I don't know if I made this up, but I sure as heck had fun doing it. I, I named it Stencil Swipe. Okay, how many of you guys have done a swipe? Paint pouring, hello. Okay, so I always give my canvas a little squirty squirt with some water with like like the paint splatter yeah it has a couple drops of dawn dish soap for some reason dawn dish soap is like the bomb and i really miss my music so if i like break out in song and dance it's because i'm singing in my crazy head it's beauty being crazy right how many of you guys love stencils i freaking love stencils when the world ended on friday march 13th 2020 like we've been <laughs> trapped in our house. We own a townhouse and um, I don't know if you know this or not, but townhouses are quite small. So it's been my husband of 25 years and I lovingly call them my heathens. Cause I mean, who calls their kids heathens? I do. Cause you know what? When I yell heathens, they answer well trained, right? So, my entire office for my makeup business got taken over and, you know, the remote learning thing. So, I just started painting. Started with furniture and then I, like, on a whim, I'm like, oh, let me stencil something on this. Oh, yeah, the crazy, obsessive. It grew from there. So, here we are today. Tonight, we are going to do a stencil swipe. Again, I don't know if I made this up, but I sure as heck have had a lot of fun trying new things. So, a swipe, I don't know the technical, like in the paint porn world, I don't know what they call it. I, come on. By the way, that's a cat litter box from Dollar Tree with my purple, always clogs, Dirk Nobbit. And I got the little grill thing that quite doesn't fit. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is going to be your best friend. Art has been extremely, extremely therapeutic for me. I've redone a lot of our furniture. And then after I did a frame, you know, in our bathroom upstairs around our mirror. I'm like, why buy a mirror frame? I could stencil my own frame. So I did. You can watch that reveal on my Pinterest page, which I will put in, in the info, either on the up above or the down below, depending on which uh, social media outlet you're joining me on. By the way, your one second finger click that costs you nothing means the absolute world to my family and I because these have been very hard times, you guys. And I found an outlet that not only is extremely therapeutic, but it also has been helping my family. So I hope I help you with some of my crazy tips, tricks, and hacks. I'll put all my connection info either in the up above or the down below. Your subscribe, your follow, your shares. It costs you nothing, means the world to me. Okay, so I put down some purple. I put down some metallic peacock teal. I mean, I don't know if you noticed my hair or not. I kind of have a thing for purple. Like, that is the color of my makeup business, unique. Um, but I love purple, and I lost my clip. Like, even before unique. And all of my colors are pre-mixed with uh, Floetrol and either silicone oil or baby oil. I love testing new stuff, trying new things out. That's what brought us here today. Now, you 
might be watching this on my YouTube channel. Yes, I was going to make a separate art channel, but makeup is beauty too, because makeup is like, we don't need makeup, but you guys know what? You want to know a little secret? I put on makeup every day for me because looking in the mirror and being like, I don't look like I just rolled out of bed. That inner confidence, that's beautiful. That's like the most beautiful thing. Because if we're not happy, no one else around us is happy. Who's with me? Come on, come on. Drop me something, you guys. Okay, so I have purple, metallic, teal, and white. I'm going to add a little bit of some hot pink. I grabbed these at Walmart today. By the way, Walmart paint is way cheaper than Michael's. And I'm a Michael's, like, stalker. Um... So I added those in this premix tube. This one has Floetrol and silicon oil. So when you do a swipe pour, you kind of want to cover your canvas. I did grab a Michaels, you know, because they're having their big fatty sale. Um, some of these little 8x10. Let's see what. Like it's. The quality of the canvas is way better than Dollar Tree's one. No offense, Dollar Tree, because you know I love you. Um, but these, the quality of these are way, way better than Dollar Tree. So when you do a swipe, which, okay, I'm no pro. I'm not like some of these amazing artists like Jilly Cube and Olga. Like, I'm, I just love doing this. So... The way I see it, okay, that's still a little thick. Let me grab some water. The way I see it, we can just figure stuff out and try some crazy techniques and do this together. Like, who's with me? Who's with me? Get, give me a woo woo. Like in the comments and whatever, because, you know, we're going to connect on all the platforms. So I do use distilled water to thin my colors out that's causing a shadow um i i prefer flow trawl i have been playing with silicon oil i have pouring masters that i got on amazon i have michael's artist loft silicon oil because i'm very frugal meaning i'm a freaking tight ass i squeak no seriously i'm a mom i'm a grandma if i could like i repurpose and reuse everything till there's like nothing left out of it okay i would love to hear your tips and your repurposing hacks um these little silicon cups rule as you can tell the scorching neon yellow has been in this one for a while but here's why i love these because you could control control your flow baby and the biggest, I guess, hurdle is not creating muddy colors. So I've been doing makeup and customized skincare, ReneeKeel.com, um, for five years. Just celebrated my five-year unique anniversary. I absolutely love unique. I love direct sales. Not a pyramid. Like, seriously, if you're looking for a side hustle and want to help other women and spread confidence please hit me up because it's i've already earned i'm about to earn my fourth trip to punta cana it's been the biggest blessing for my family my husband married 25 years um search hashtag mr lover you will see our cancer journey he's had stage four cancer he was given three years and we're in our fifth year now because as my tattoo, which it's freezing in here, but I have a family crest cross on my back, going back to my Irish roots, says faith. And I have held on to my faith and we have a lot of prayer and the debt from cancer has been atrocious. That's why... This has been so therapeutic with COVID. Um, so therapeutic. 
So if you're struggling with something, like I'm very transparent, I have total, I struggle with depression and anxiety. I have no problem sharing that with anyone because we're all human and for some reason, certain things get like like a stigma attached in society and pfft, I don't know if kids are watching. So double ring fingers. Let's pretend I'm picking my nose. Okay, so I laid out some colors. Again, the biggest hurdle is not to create mud. Um, check your color will. If we are connected on Facebook, I do have a VIP confidence beauty community group where I share tips, tricks, hacks. The color wheel is key. Okay, you guys? The color wheel. Cool colors. Okay, unless you're doing a crazy lip mix, which I love lip mix. Um, with paint, you want it to stay cool or warm or neutral. Kind of like when I color match you for your foundation. This has been on since 7 o'clock this morning, mind you. Um, so if you have questions on that, let me know. Hold on, my clip was tugging. Ugh, don't you hate that? Because I have a little granddaughter unicorn tail. My youngest granddaughter loves unicorns and I miss her. Okay. So look. You see all the cells that are already like forming. We're going to lay down a stencil. Lay it down. Yeah, and I, okay, my husband and son love 80s metal. <sighs> I'm a punk rock girl. I've, I've loved punk rock since I think the moment I was born. Like, I love punk rock. But, you know, they play a lot of 80s stuff. And I, for some reason, lay it down by rat is in my head. Okay, I'm going to lay my stencil down. I'm going to do another quick little bloopity bloop. Now, there's so many. Like, I've been playing with this a few ways. Um, you do what's good for you. Play with it. The beauty about art, it's what you feel. It reflects, it's a reflection of you. And if there's something, like if you're pissy or angry or like you're really freaking happy, you can fix it. That's the beauty of it. It's like makeup. It's like when you color your hair bright purple, you can fix it. Okay. When you swipe, you want to use a darker color going against the lines that you bloopity blooped. Okay, so this is a metallic black. I pre actually, you know what? Let me back up here. I'm gonna use my matte black and I'm gonna go against the gray bad religion. That's a band for, okay, and we're just gonna do it. Okay, see, one thing that I always struggle with is not enough paint or too much paint. Um, oops, but you will see why we want the black. Okay, so I have, so how many of you guys have a Cricut? Like I got, I, I got the big fatty or I got the little fatty. Hold on, let me add a couple more colors on the top of the stencil just to make sure it blends. So what I have learned with the swipe method, how slow can you go? You want to go super slow. I have very little patience. I don't know if you noticed or not, but I am extremely tired of my purple getting clogged. Um, I just love life and I am high energy. I, there's no gray with me y'all. There is no gray with me. Either you love me or you're like, oh my God, that chick is so much. She's too much. And you know what? I'm fine with that. But I don't have, you know what? We'll just try something else new. Let's just do a couple drops of silicon oil because I really need this tube and this dropper. And I'm willing to try anything. Like take food, for example. I've, I've tried alligator. I've had Rocky Mountain Oysters, um, Rattlesnake. Okay, are we ready? Oh, and see, I was so busy yickety yakking. And normally you would put the, okay, screw it. Because again, 
Art is what we make it. So let's do a little metallic on the top of that. So I have found, and I'm still not pro like Jilly Cube is at this, um, you want to put your transition color, like when we do eyeshadow. I have tons of videos here on my YouTube channel on that. You want to go against the lines you did. Okay, hopefully you guys could see. Okay, and I still, okay. Let's do a squirt of the Magic Dawn dish soap. I have not seen anyone try this, but again, we're learning together. Together, we're stronger. Together, we create new stuff and find new fun techniques. And I always get so nervous. A little mommy juice courage. Okay, let's, let's do this. And I keep putting that, blocking my light. Okay, so we want to go super slow. This is just stencil paper um i've seen napkins used um plastic wrap oh you guys see all this stuff booyah it's oh my gosh especially on top of that freaking stencil holy guacamole look at that oh my gosh i can we leave it as is it's so pretty Okay, and I am extremely frugal. Again, I'm a freaking tight ass, so I always have a backup one to stick on the down below. I'm probably committing some sort of like paint pouring crime. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, how slow can you go? Um, I kind of do a little wiggle jiggle, kind of like with my lash crack. You know, the wiggle jiggle twirl, you know, to get the look of falsies without the toxic ingredients of the falsies. Okay, let's kind of fix this little area. I don't know. I just think wavy's more fun. It's more whimsical. And I don't like this little black area. That's a little too black. Okay. Now, you could still see where the stencil is, right? Um, another thing I do, which again, I'm probably breaking so many paint pouring rules. I just make my own. I kind of wipe off excess. Oh, see? Party foul. Kind of wipe off excess along the sides. I guess, like, the sides are a big thing. Um, now for the fun part. She plays with fire. Right after I swipe, my handy dandy little torch. Yeah, I double fist my torches. Do you? Reason for the torch, okay? You want to hold it high. It's going to get the air bubbles out and it's going to help if you're a, a cell addict like I am really hope you guys it's going to help your cells create and form i have again been trying baby oil i've been trying different mediums for cell creation um some are better than others the very best one is my launch uh, hot oil hair treatment but that's a little expensive to be playing with but that one actually do I even have it here? No, because I gifted it to my to my beloved Mr. Lover. Um, that one is in the house. That one created like fantastic cells. Okay, you see what the torch created? Can you guys see? Do you see me now? Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so again, this is your own creation. With the stencil, this is the only thing, is you gotta, oh look, the stencil's floating, it's swimming, and oh, oh my gosh, holy crap, oh, are you guys seeing this, oh, holy guacamole, holy mommy, okay, that looks freaking rad, you guys, we just did something, oh, 
The stencil's floating. <gasps> okay, I think we're gonna run, run, run. Yeah, O M G. Has anyone had? Has anyone ever doubled up? <gasps> oh my gosh, that looks so badass. See, and another reason why I have the bottom canvas is I slap this paint covered stencil um I do kind of let it almost completely dry just so I could yank it off like I could I'll even show you guys my tester <gasps> that looks so bitchin oh my goodness okay so this is like my second video trying to do a stencil swipe pour and I just keep <laughs> we just keep discovering a bunch of new, oh my gosh, new super rad tricks. Okay, I kind of, I think we're on to something, you guys. I think we're on to something. See, look at all the, the paint that that is catching. So, because I'm frugal, I do um, save all my drugs um, in a separate bin. I also grabbed a pack of two silicon mats off Amazon because anyone, any other crooked ladies here, uh, people, not just ladies, um, because down the line, I saw on Olga's channel, she had mentioned like, oh, I can make paint pour earrings out of this because the silicon mat is super rad because you could, it just peels right off. So, that was angry, but you can see, like, when I plop the stencil down, that was super angry. Looking for my good one. That I did last night on my business page. So, like, y'all got to subscribe and follow and go there. That was my first one. It looks like fire. Yeah. And I had another one that like really shows, you know, better to try and fail than not try at all. This one, and by the way, all of these are ready to adorn your wall with the love I literally pour into all my art. This one was fun because I did the stencil and then I did three different wandering cup pours or Whatever cup pours, there's so many terms. I Renee everything. I really love this because I love mandalas. Mandalas, they all have a different meaning and represent something. Um, this, this one, three people want to buy. But as you guys know, paint pouring, it's... So it's hard to recreate because it's random. So I have been trying to recreate that. Um, I will have to perform surgery, but that's the monster inside. So I figured I would do a monster inside series. Um, I will be, this was done by chain pulling. Stay tuned, make sure again. Oh, I'm gonna just be say, make sure that you are subscribed. Because you're not going to want to miss out on all the crazy May stuff, okay? You're not going to want to miss out. I am really, really digging this. Look at those colors. Look at these colors. Like, ah! It's so pretty! So normally what I do is once it is almost dry, then I'll pull the stencil off. That's when you get this beautiful effect. Um, I do perform a little surgery, you know, with the sides, which I just jacked up with my thumb. But you do what you want. You do what floats your boat. Let me show you guys. Yeah, screw it. I mean, I just bought another pack at Michael's. And this stencil's, oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. So when you slap it down on the upside down, yeah, my daughters and granddaughters and my amazing son-in-law are 
watching the filming of Stranger Things. Any Stranger Things fans? So when you do the upside down method, okay, that looks freaking rad. So when you let it dry, it turns out like the one I showed you because you still see the stencil. Wow. Okay, you guys, we just we just tried something that ended up all cray cray and beautiful. So that I'm gonna play with now because there's just so so much fun, so little time. Yeah, because Mr. Lever is like, how long are you going to be in the garage? Because he wants to move his car back. I'm like, baby, I got your car. I'll move it back. I'm like, I can be here in the garage. Oh, see, look at my cheap ass. Wiping up the paint, getting the sides filled in. I just feel bad because, like, again, we own a townhouse. So my poor neighbors, you know, I've been going live in the backyard and they hear everything. And I feel bad. Even though they're the ones that got me addicted to this. Oh, I love, look at this. So for, for a mud color, that's pretty, pretty, right? Okay, let me rinse my hands so I could, I could stop El Video. If you have questions, I'm back! If you have questions about anything, let me know. I will be posting pictures tomorrow of all my completed stuff and I love making new friends being and I'll say it being trapped at home because of COVID it's really freaking lonely it's really lonely I love meeting new friends and connecting with people if you're a creep you can buy Felicia because I will not respond to you yeah, I had one creep. Actually, I won't even say it on here because I never know who's watching. But if you are a sincere artist that wants some art therapy or wants to try something new and have fun, I would love to brainstorm with you. would love to connect with you. Let's connect. Thank you guys for watching this. I absolutely love how this initially turned out super rad and once I figure out like how to because I I have I have five people and have one by the love I literally I literally pour love into my art it needs to adorn your walls but I I've been overthinking it I and I'm very transparent I just like, do I send it as is or whatnot or hoo-ha? So, anyways, love you all. Thank you for joining me on this fine, rainy Saturday night. I'm a pluviophile. I'm in heaven because it's raining. So, I'm going to go blast some punk rock while this dries. Sip on my mommy juice. You guys have a great night. And I look so, so forward to brainstorming and connecting our creative minds together and having so much more fun.